everybody? We are back with another review, and today I would like to look at a nice budget deck that um, Wizards of the Coast is selling through a lot of the larger chain outlets like Walmart and Target. Uh, this specific bundle was sold at Target, and it's $12 for the, uh, the Nisa Planeswalker deck. Normally, these are $15 or $14 depending on where you buy yours at. It could be up to $16 depending on what your store is. But this is sealed uh, differently than the normal Planeswalker deck. It has this band around it which has another barcode and the vendor ends up crossing out the original barcode so it doesn't scan for that original price. And basically what this is is Wizards moving their old stock of Planeswalker decks and basically their old card stock. What's great about this is for $12 you not only get the the Nisa Foil Planeswalker card, but you're also getting um, a ready-to-play 60-card deck. You're getting land from the Kaladesh set, which is great because if you collect land like I do, you keep land, all the artwork from each set. Um, you're getting two 15-card booster packs. I mean, the booster packs alone are about four bucks a piece, so you're looking at eight dollars right there. So would you pay four dollars for a Nisa Planeswalker card, uh, which is a foil mythic and the whole deck and all the land that's in there, $4. I mean, so when you look at it like that, even if you're buying this just for certain cards, mainly if you're just going for the booster packs, which most people I imagine would, you can literally buy these, pull the booster packs out of them, part out the rest of the deck, sell the foil planeswalker, sell all the cards in there. You can sell the land as bulk, um, and you can still make money on this and still go out and buy another one. So basically you could pop booster packs for free if you know what you're doing and you have the avenue to move these cards. So again, at the $12 price point, it's it's definitely worth the investment. Oh, we got to we got to cut the sticker band. That's right. So, again, they do this band that goes over it, and I noticed that it goes back to probably uh, Game Watch. This is Kaladesh, and they have um, Aether Revolt. I, th I know that those were discounted, and I know um, some of like the Concerted Effort decks, some of the, those were discounted at the $12 price point. Anyway, so... When we pop it open, we got the Nissan Nature's Artisan. So we got extreme curl on that one. Look at that. So, I mean, this it barely sits in there. It You have to struggle to click it in there. And it's putting strain on the card by having it in there. Um, and it pops right out as soon as you put a little. But compared to the newer uh, Planeswalker deck, let me see if I have the newer Chandra card to compare this to an older one. Here we go. So here we have Chandra Bold Pyromancer. This is from the Dominaria set. And then we have the Kaladesh Nisa. And let's look at those right out the pack. So this is the newer one, and this is the old card stock. Look at the curl on that. Insane. I mean, it's almost a smiley face when you have the nice Chandra super flat so in regards to them changing something i don't know if i heard from someone that they were printing uh the cards in japan or using a different printing source in regards to printing the newer dominaria set so that might be the reason why this it's not as not as curled or maybe the card stock is different that they're building these with but look at the curl on that i mean that's crazy so uh yeah put that in a sleeve for sure and then we got the deck box, which has the Nisa artwork on it. Green, super nice. I like the, the vibrant green that they got. We have the quick reference right here, which comes with pretty much everything. We've got the two booster packs. We have the Kaladesh Nisa Nature's Artisan poster. And this one's in the top left. Pretty nice artwork right there. And again, you could always fold this and slide this really nice 
down the front of your binder and it'll store nice and flat. And you know, you can always store your Kaladesh cards in that binder that you have your Kaladesh poster in. It might help you figure out which cards are where. I, I imagine you could also use this as a playmat. I, I think that's partly the reason why they include that. I mean, I guess you could use it as a poster, but I believe the main purpose of these um, inserts that they do with the boxes and the ribbon bands around the fat packs, I really think those serve as some kind of playmat in a sense. So right off the bat, uh, the bristling hydra on the front, super nice rare. That's a good one to see right off the bat. Again, $12 for this. So the cards that you're looking at in this deck, Nisa and this deck right here were only $4. Because these two packs are worth $4 each. That's eight. The whole thing was 12. So um, again, if you were to salvage this out, I mean, you'd at least get six, $7 for Nisa alone. Uh, and that'll pay for almost half of the, most of the, uh, the repurchase. And then you have all these other uh, uncommons and rares in here and the lands you can bulk together as well. So you could legit sell these make money and pop booster packs for free. So keep that in mind. Uh, when you see these in the stores, keep that in mind. Bristling Hydra, we got our first rare. Ether Squall Ancient. It's a pretty sweet one. That's a big one. 6-6. Six, six. Uh, not quite the old school Leviathan, but it is a Leviathan. Verdant Crescendo. That's another rare. Another Verdant Crescendo. Again, like these rares right here, you could at least get a couple bucks for each one of those. So um, we got some commons. Got our uncommon. A couple uncommons there. A couple more. Terrain Elemental, Thriving Rhino. Guardian of the Great Conduit. Longfin Sky Whale. A lot of big blue creatures and a lot of big green creatures. Like super, super powerful, super healthy, and equal stats, which is really nice too. That's another thing that I noticed when I was looking at some of these cards. A lot of these are, are equally stats, like a 2 2, you know what I'm saying? 2 2, th even a 3 2 is good. You know, a lot of these are equaled out in regards to you don't have a huge thing. So you're not playing with like a 4-1. Um, we got a Woodland Stream here. Another dual land, but again, it comes into play tapped. Woodland Streams, we have our land set. Some of these are really nice. The artwork on these. And we got our islands here. Tune with either. Appetite. For the unnatural malfunction. And that is the Nisa deck, the pre constructed deck that Wizards of the Coast have created for Nisa. So let's hop into the Kaladesh booster packs. It's what everyone wants to see anyway. Tasseled Dromedary, Revolutionary Rebuff, Lawless Broker, Kudrar Seed Sculptor, Prophetic Prism. This is probably one of my favorite cards to play in my Legendary Dragons deck. Um, I have a lot of different cards that have add any manner, one man of any color, and this is definitely one that I have in there. Uh, definitely is a good one. And as a, a little kicker, it has draw a card. So when it comes into play, you get to draw a card. Um, and it's basically what it is. If you want to think about what this card is, is it's a converter. Because basically what you're doing is you're spending one colorless and you're tapping it to add one mana of any color. So if you have an extra forest and you need an island, you can tap that forest for this and convert it over into an island. So that's why I like this, especially if you're dealing with like a Bolas deck or a Legendary Dragon deck where most of the casting costs cost the almost entire spectrum of the rainbow of colors when you have something like this in your hand you're able to convert that that mana cost over pretty easily and there's a lot of different renditions of cards like this so if you're interested in those types of cards look them up i love artifacts artifacts are awesome you can have a common artifact that is just superb and this is a great example of a superb common artifact right here so um, great pull on that i already have eight of these uh i don't need any more but uh, that's a good pull for anybody who's 
popping Kaladesh packs. So we're at our first uncommon here. Demolition Stomper. It's a 10-7 for 6. Spark of Creativity. Restoration Gearsmith. Ooh, Torrential Gear Hulk. Now that's a good pull. This pack costs 12 bucks. This artifact creature is probably $12 or more right now. So this card alone out of the one booster packs in here would uh, pay for this and then some. So Torrential Gear Hulk, sick blue card. I already got a couple of these. Definitely going to add this so I can complete my four, my four set of these. So sweet pull, Torrential Gear Hulk. Awesome. We got a foil, a common foil. Revoke Privileges. Super sweet. Love the foil cards. The foil cards are sick in, the, in their own right. We got a really nice mountain artwork too. So we got a servo. Let's pop open our last Kaladesh booster pack. Yeah, that Torrential Gearhawk right there is a good pull. This nice big blue creature. A lot of power. So, let's go through some of these commons. Show you what I got in here. Workshop assistant. All right, our first uncommon for the pack we got. Hazardous conditions. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Especially playing a black, green. Harsh scrutiny. Black card sorcery. Another uncommon we got veteran motorist. I believe this is this is a, a a remake, I believe. Of an old of an olden of an older card. Just can't think of it right now at the moment. Anyway, that's our next uncommon. We got oh it's a three one for two. Pretty decent. When it enters the battlefield you get to scry two. And whenever a motorist crews a vehicle, that vehicle gets plus one plus one. So that's a pretty good uncommon. Ooh, nice. Cataclysmic Gear Hulk. Now this is an epic pull. The Torrential Gear Hulk and the Catam Cataclysmic Gear Hulk, those two pulls together, definitely, I could have bought two boxes of this and flipped these two cards alone and everything else would have been above board. So, Cataclysmic Gear Hulk, Vigilance, 4-5 four, four, five for 5, Artifact Creature, pretty sweet. Um, then we got a really nice Swamp. Nice artwork there and the servo token. So overall, I, this pack particularly was a good pull. Uh, I've had pulls from these Planeswalker decks, these budget Planeswalker decks where eh, it was all right. It was just a lot of bulk cards basically. And I ended up getting a Planeswalker card and I got to take out the specific Planeswalker cards that are, that are, you know, native to that deck. Uh, that's the main reason why I picked these decks up like this is because there's... There's cards that are built specifically for this deck that you don't get if you go out and try to collect the cards. You have to buy the deck that's the Planeswalker deck to get the one, the cards that are specifically tailored to this deck. So that's another reason why I like to buy these because you just buy the deck and you get the cards that you need and you can complete your collection. It depends on what you're going for. If you're going to build decks, if you're collecting cards, however you want to do it, um, this is a deck right out the box and... The cards that you have in here, you could definitely break this down, which is what I do. Um, but again, you, it's it's a good deal. You get two card, two packs, uh, fifteen card pack boosters. You got a bunch of lands. You got a bunch of cards. You get the foil planeswalker, twelve bucks. It's a good deal. So if you want to check these out, again, I they're not going to be at your local store, your local card store. They're going to be at Walmart or Target. Uh, this pack particularly, I got at Target. So. Um, and they only had one other one there. So it wasn't like they had a whole bunch of them on the shelf. Again, they're trying to move old stock, which is probably the primary reason why they're moving these in the first place, is they're just trying to get rid of old stock. So I think it was worth it. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you liked some of the pulls that I got, and if you like these decks, let us know in the comments below. And uh, yeah, be sure to subscribe to this channel. I do game reviews every Wednesday. So be on the lookout for that. Have a great rest of your day.